Welcome. We're going to show you how to do the flame test, which is a scientific test where you put metallic salts in flame and observe its color to figure out which unknown cation is within the salt. So these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a Bunsen burner, a gas source, matches, salts, two beakers, and a wire. Before we start, we need to go over some safety. First off, you need to make sure you have safety glasses on at all times. Also, make sure you don't have any loose clothing and make sure your hair is back. You need to know where your emergency gas shut off valve is. Ours happens to be over there. Also, emergency eye wash, which I know is there, and shower, which is right outside. Now, we're going to show you how to set up your Bunsen burner. First thing you need to do is attach your hose or your Bunsen burner to your gas source. Make sure it's on tight enough that it won't leak. Next thing you need to do is open the collar of the Bunsen burner. And turn on the gas source part way. Next, you need to light your match or lighter and place it over the burner tube. You might need to adjust your gas or collar to get the flame to light. This is what your blue conical flame should look like. So, this is how to sterilize your wire. First, you need to take 150 milliliters of distilled water. Then you take your wire and you put it into the water for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then you hold it out over the flame until the water is dried up and it turns red. Wait for it to cool down before you move on. Once your wire is cooled down, take your unknown salt and dip your wire into the unknown salt. Make sure to get it as bestly coated as you can so you can clearly see the color in the flame. Once your wire has salt in it, put it in the middle of the flame and observe the color. From this, you should be able to determine the color of the flame and which compound is in your unknown salt. If you're not observing your color, reapply your salt. If you're doing multiple compounds, repeat the sterilizing of the water. Then, once the wires cool off, dig it into your other compound and then flame. Now you're done with the flame test, you should clean up. Um, first thing you should do is put your hot wire in the beaker distilled water while you clean up everything else. Now, next week you want to turn on the gas and make sure that the flame goes out. Um, close the collar and detach the hose. Um, then you want to place any salts that you use back where you found them. You should go ahead and rinse off your wire, put it also back where you found it, and uh, empty out your distilled water into either a liquid waste beaker. Now that you've seen these salts, look at the table and tell us which one you think it is. Don't look at that salt, I'm not using that salt. <laughs> it's a cool salt. <laughs> Hi, uh, can you do this? Um, Fire extinguisher is. Fire extinguisher is. Oh, also, safety concern. Never drink in lab.
Are you going? Here's how to sterilize your wire. First, you put 150 milliliters of distilled water. <laughs> Pouring that. Damn it! <laughs> you take it out of the distilled water and you hold it over the flame until the water is on and it starts cooling. 